We've talked about the flood threat continues, especially in Georgetown County, where they're keeping a close eye on those swelling rivers, especially the Waccamaw. We're heading there now live to Storm Team 2 meteorologist Christine Kohler. And Christy, I know you went up there right after the midday show. You've had a chance to kind of survey the area. What have you seen and what are the folks uh, saying up there now? Well, the good news is, Rob, so far everywhere we've seen here in the Plantersville area of Georgetown County uh, seems to be not dealing with those floodwaters up on their doorstep, which is great news. But what they are dealing with is some of these roadways that have been shut down. You can see here behind me Exodus Road. This is a smaller creek that is topped over top of this bridge and it's flooded this roadway here behind me. So officials have actually shut down this road. They shut down Plantersville Road. And in fact, the latest DOT report that came out uh, just a little while ago a few more roads shut down this afternoon because of those rising waters. And some of them, as Rob and I talked about a little bit earlier today, because of some of the tidal flooding that we're seeing across parts of Georgetown County. So as you can see, the water levels continue to rise. I talked to a resident here on this street in Exodus Road just a little while ago, and he tells me that the water levels have been steadily rising over the last few days. And as you look at that forecast, what you're noticing is the water level is still going to continue to rise all the way through the remainder of tomorrow. And keep in mind when we're talking about the Conway gauge versus what is going on here in Georgetown County, that's going to be uh, ahead of the schedule that we're expecting here in Georgetown County. We expect this to lag behind just a little bit for these folks down here. So they're going to be dealing with these rising waters all the way through Thursday, possibly into the day on Friday before they start to see some receding here. I have been told by residents here that they've seen flood flooding from time to time, including in 2015, as well as with Hurricane Matthew. But this is certainly some of the highest floodwaters that they've seen actually here in the Plantersville area. However, they are all prepared. They've got their sandbags ready and they're ready to fight whatever may be headed their way. Sophia, back to you.